Hello everyone. For those of you who don't know me, my name is Jason. I'm married to Natalia and we have a seven month old daughter named Haley who consistently brings loads of joy and sleepless nights into our lives. Life over the past few months for me has been quite the ride. Those of you who know me will know that I'm someone who likes to take control of my life. If I want something or need something, I always find a way to get it. And if I'm facing a problem, my first instinct is to fix it myself. But you know, sometimes life throws me problems that I can't fix. Around the middle of May, I actually had problems that I couldn't fix myself. In, in the month of May, my mother, who lives in Dubai by herself, caught COVID-19. And it got so serious that she was taken into intensive care. During the weeks that she was in hospital, there were moments when we thought that she might not actually recover. And for me, that was difficult to process. And from my perspective, I felt so helpless that I couldn't do anything to fix the situation. I couldn't make her feel better. Granted, I can't do that. And I couldn't even fly to Dubai because they weren't letting foreigners in. So I couldn't be with her there. Even if I did make, manage to make it to Dubai, I, I wouldn't have been able to go and see her in hospital. That, so that added to the pressure and feeling of helplessness that I was facing at that time. And to add to that, during the same period, my little baby Haley started having breathing difficulties as well. And it's pretty scary when your baby, who's only a few months old, struggles to breathe. And all you can do is just leave her in the hands of paramedics, nurses and doctors. Uh, you know, and if that was not enough, I was also trying to complete a high profile project that I was managing at work. So that meant long hours working in the, into the night. Now, although my employer was compassionate and told me not to worry about completing the work, I plowed through because in a way it was a distraction from my sense of helplessness and it seemed like work was the only thing that I could control in my life. And during those days from hell, I remember asking God for his peace, his healing and his favor. When I spent time with him, I would sing that old hymn that says, turn your eyes upon Jesus, look full in his wonderful face and the things on earth will grow strangely dim in the light of his glory and grace. That chorus has been a constant reminder to me during the past few months that I need to put Jesus above all else, above my problems, above my capabilities, above my limitations, and above my temptations. You know, likewise, Proverbs 3 verses 5 and 6 kept ringing in my mind during those tough days. Those verses say, trust in the Lord with all your heart and don't lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he shall direct your paths. Now, however flawed I am in my natural instincts and the way I live my life, I remember to turn to God because he is infinitely more able and powerful than I am. Now, and that's, that's our mark as Christians. We're not amazing. We're not perfect. But we know who he is and we know that he's on our side. Now, eventually, through that period of helplessness, God did bring peace and solace to me, even when the situation didn't seem to be getting better. I was reminded of the blessings that I did have. A wife who was ever so supportive, financial and job security despite the uncertain times, knowing that the all-powerful God is my Heavenly Father, and most importantly, the joy of knowing God intimately despite my failings. God did bring complete healing to my baby, and he was also faithful in healing my mother just when all hope seemed to be dwindling. Now, I want to remind you, whatever your situation is during this period, remember to turn your eyes on Jesus. He cares about you. He's able to fix your situation, and he's always worthy of your adoration and focus. God bless you.